Bakata samu haloe la sate Tela nagara brahaje Bakata samu haloe la sate Tela nagara brahaje Tatae tatae bajala ko Gana gana tahe tanjira ro Makare tahe pacha loko Dhamma dhamma tahe chatira ro Tatae tatae pacha loko Gana gana tahe tanjira ro Prime dala dala sona ranga tarane no pura bhaje. Prime dala dala sona ranga tarane no pura bhaje. Prime dala dala sona ranga. Charani no pura bhaje Prime dhala dhala sunara nanda Charani no pura bhaje Mukunda madhava yadhava hari Bole na bola re bandha na bori Mukunda madha vaya da vahari Bole na bola re bandha na bori Mukunda madhava yada bahare Tole na polo re bhata na bore Nechi nida vasi chela re rati Iva shashari rasahaje Nechi nida vasi chela re rati Nithi nida vasi chela re rati Deva shashari rasahaje Nithi nida vasi chela re rati Deva shashari rasahaje Emana durla bamana vadeha Paya ki kora bhavana keha Emana durla bamana vadeha Paya ki kora bhavana keha Emana durla bamana vadeha Aya ki kora bhavana keho E mana dhura bhavana vadeho Aya ki kora bhavana keho Ebe na bhati le yashoda sutta Charani pari belahate Ebe na bhati le yashoda sutta Charani pari belahate Ebe na bhati le yashoda sutta Charani pari belahate Ebe na bhati le yashoda sutta Charame Bhuri Pita Hate Odi Tha 
kapna hoyle acha bina jelo bhale hai baby acha uti tha kapna hoyle acha bina jelo bodi hoy baby acha bodi tha kapna hoyle acha Dina jela bhale hai de biasta Udi ka 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 na hoi de asta Dina jela bhali hai de biasta Kabe ke noi be ala sa hoi Na ba jo se dhaya ra ke Abe ke noi be ala sa hoy, na ba cha re do ya ra ha je. Abe ke noi be ala sa hoy, na ba cha re do ya ra ha je. Abe ke noi be ala sa hoy, na ba cha re do. Jivana anitya jana hatha Tahina na vida vipata bhaar Jivana anitya jana hatha Tahina na vida vipata bhaar Jivana anitya jana hatha Ahe na na vida vipada ba Jiva na anitya jana hasa Ahe na na vida vipada ba Namashraya koriyata nitumi Taka apanaka haje Namashraya Namashraya kori atani tumi Thaka apana kaje Jivera kalyana sadhana kaham Jagati asi e madhura nam Jivera kalyana sadhana kaham Jagati asi e madhura nam Jivera kalyana sadhana kaham Jagati asi en madura nam Jivira karyana sadhana kaam Jagati asi en madura nam Avidyati mira tapana rupe Rigogane virajhe Avidyati mira tapana rupe Vrga gane vira haje Avidyati mira tapana rupe Vrga gane vira haje Krishna nam shudha kore apan Yudha bhakha te vinoda prahan Krishna nama shudha kore apan Yudha bhakha te vinoda prahan Krishna nam shudha kore apan Yudha bhakha te vinoda prahan Krishna nama shudha Om 
Mashaya Korea Tani to me Kaka Panaka Namashaya Korea Tani to me Nam Nama bina kichu nahi koara choda bova nama haji Nama bina kichu nahi koara choda bova nama haji Nama bina kichu nahi koara Choda Bhuva Namahaji Nama Bina Kishu Nahi Ko Aro Choda Bhuva Namahaji Chita Go Chita Go Gwara Chanda Pole Nidra Chayo Maya Pisa Chira Kohole Sota Nidra Chayo Maya Pisa Chira Kohole Sota Nidra Chayo Maya Pisa Chira Kohole Bhaji Bhavaliya Ese Samsara Bithare Bhaji Bhavaliya Bhaji Bhavaliya Ese Samsara Bithare Bhaji Bhavaliya Ese Samsara Bithare Bhuliya Rohile to me Abhidhyara Bhare Abhidhyara Bhade Uriyaro Hile Tumi Abhidhyara Bhade Tomare Loete Ami Haino Abhatara Tomare Loete I know about that. Ami bina bandhu ar ke ache to mara Ami bina bandhu ar ke ache to mara Ene che o 
शारी माया नशी पर शादी माया नशी पर हारे नाम महामंत्र लहो तो हरे नाम महामंत्र लहो तुम्हें महगी खाते विनोदा प्रभु चारने पढ़े आखाते विनोदा प्रभु चारने पढ़े से हार नाम मंत्र लय लगी हरे नम मंत्र लय लिया गोर हरि बो हरि बो हरि बो हरि बो जय गौर प्रेम नंदे जय बाकीनाथ ठाकुर की ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवा ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवा ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवा ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवा So we're going through Srimad Bhagavatam. Oh, Nasta Prayeshu Babadreshu. Nasta Prayeshu Babadreshu. Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya. Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya. Bhagavati Uttama Shloke. Bhagavati Bhagavati Bhakti Bhavati Naishtaki. Bhakti Bhavati Naishtaki. So we're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 11, text number, a chapter, oh, Canto 11, chapter number 26.
Okay. Chap text number thirty one. Thirty one. Yato Pashraya Manasya Yato Pashraya Manasya Yato Pashraya Manasya Yato Pashraya Manasya Bhagavantam Bhagavantam Vibhavasam Sitam Sitam Bayam Bayam Tamo Tamo Api Apiet Apieti Apieti Sadun Sadun Sam Sevatas Sevatas Tata Tata Yato Pashraya Manasya Yato Pashraya Manasya Bhagavantam Vibhavatsam Bhagavantam Vibhavatsam Sitam bayam tamo pieti. Sitam bayam tamo pieti. Sadun sam sevatas tata. Sadun sam sevatas tata. Yato pasyayam manasi. Yeah. Bhagavantam vibhavasam. Bhagavantam vibhavasam. Sitam bhayam tamopieti. Sitam bhayam tamopieti. Sadun sam sevatas tata. Sadun sam sevatas tata. Yato pashraya manasya. Yato pashraya manasya. Bhagavantam vibhavasam. Bhagavantam vibhavasam. Sitam bayam tamo pieti. Sitam bayam tamo pieti. Sadun sam sevatas tata. Sadun sam sevatas tata. Yato pashraya manasya. Yato pashraya manasya. Bhagavantam vibhavavasum. Bhagavantam vibhavavasum. Sitam bhayam tamo pieti. Sitam bhayam tamo pieti. Sadun sam sevatas tata. Sadun sam sevatas tata. Yadu asrayam manasya. Yadu asrayam. Bhagavatam Vipavasum Shittam Hayam Tamu Vipavasum 
Yata, just as, just as, 就像就像 Upasraya manasya, Upasraya manasya, of one who is approaching, of one who is approaching, 朝什么接近的人，朝什么接近的人 Bhagavantam, Bhagavantam, the powerful, the powerful. 孔武有力的人。孔武有力的人。The Bhavasam. Fire. Fire. 火。火。Sitam. Sitam. Cold. Cold. 寒冷。寒冷。Bayam. Bayam. Fear. Fear. 恐惧。恐惧。Tam. Tama. Tama. Darkness. Darkness. 黑暗。黑暗。Apyati are removed. Are removed. 被根除。被根除。So. Sadun. Sadun. Saintly. Saintly. Some say vata. Some say vata. For one who is serving. For one who is serving. 对从事服务的人来说。对从事服务的人来说。Similarly. Similarly. Tata. Tata. Similarly. Tata. Similarly. 同样。同样。同样。Translation. Just as cold fear. And darkness are eradicated for one who has approached the sacrificial fire. So dullness, fear, and ignorance are destroyed for one engaged in serving the devotees of the Lord. 译文：就像人靠近寂火、寒冷、恐惧和黑暗，便消失的无影无踪。人若服务主的奉献者。Purport: Those engaged in fruitive activities are certainly dull. They lack higher awareness of the Supreme Lord and the soul. Materialists are engaged, more or less mechanically, in gratifying their senses and ambitions. And thus, they are considered dull or practically unconscious. All such dullness, fear, and ignorance are removed when one serves the lotus feet 
of the Lord. Just as, just as darkness, just as cold, fear and darkness are removed when one approaches a fire. Yao 顿时消失殆尽。Omagyanatyamarandasyagyananjanashalakaya Bandeham Shri Garo Shri Yadapada Kamalam Shri Garun Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sakrajatam Sahagana Raganathan Vitam Tam Sajevam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishaka Nitamscha He Krishna Karana Sindhu Dinabandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gorange Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patita Nam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Nama Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swaminiti Namine Namaste Sarasati Devi Khoravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Sunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 We are hearing Lord Krishna instruct Uddhava in the process of devotional service. Lord Krishna is preparing to depart from the world. He's finished his pastimes in this world. So here, Lord Krishna is describing the benefits of serving the devotees of the Lord. The whole chapter is about association and the importance of getting the association of devotees. Just like if you read Upadeshamrita, the nectar of instruction, Srila Rupa Goswami is also stressing the importance of associating with devotees. Just like Srila Rupa Goswami in Upadeshamrita, 
，也强调了联谊的重要性。You associate with devotees, you get one result. And you associate with material, materialistic people, you get a different result. 一个人和主的奉献者联谊，得到一种结果；和物质主义者联谊，得到另一种结果。Rupa Goswami describes six things which will help you advance in devotional service. Then he describes six things which will dis, which will harm your devotional service. 圣如帕·戈斯玛米。形容了有六件事物是对有利于奉爱服务，而有六项是不利于奉爱服务的。So when he talks about what will be good for your devotional service, he says association with devotees. 当他谈到和与奉有利于奉爱服务的事物，就是就有一项是要和奉献者联谊。And when he talks about what will be bad for your devotional service, he says. Associating with materialistic people. 而在接着说到不利于奉爱服务的时候，就说了一项是和物质主义者联谊。Just like we give up things like meat, fish, and eggs, and gambling, and illicit sex, and intoxication, we give these things up. 就像我们放弃嗯吃鱼肉蛋、赌博、服麻醉品、非法的性生活。So we have to also give up the association of materialistic people who are not interested in Krishna consciousness. 同样的方式，我们要放弃和那些对 Krishna 之觉没有兴趣的物质主义者联谊。Give them up in the sense that we understand that they're not that they're not interested in Krishna consciousness. So we don't waste time with them. 因为我们明白他们对 Krishna 的职业不感兴趣，所以我们就不会在他们身上浪费时间。We give our time for the people who are serious about Krishna consciousness. 我们把时间呢花在那些对 Krishna 职业很认真的人的身上。We we want we're eager to be with them and pass the time with them, hearing and chanting. 我们渴望和这些认真的人在一起聆听唱诵。So when we associate with the devotees, then it's very natural for us to feel the benefit of their association. 和奉献者联谊，自然而然的就能感受到联谊的好处了。And here, Lord Krishna is describing the benefit that you get by associating with devotees. 而在这个世界，主 Krishna 就形容了和奉献者联谊会得到的好处。He says, dullness, fear. And ignorance are destroyed. He said, "Ignorance, fear, and ignorance." Dullness. Dullness means dull. We're dull means we're we're very slow and not not very quick, not very sharp, not very alert. Ignorance. Ignorance means we're very slow and not very sharp, not very alert. Ignorance. Ignorance means we're very slow and not very sharp, not very alert. 不不，做事不敏捷，不聪明。Just like in the night, there's darkness, so then you don't know exactly what's in front of you or what's what's taking place. Things are not there's it's not clear. 就像在黑暗当中，我们看不清，我们不知道眼前是什么事物，不知道会发生什么事情，不清楚。So fear. Fear can be fear of a. Sometimes people have a fear of a spiritual identity. 恐惧，恐惧，有的人就对于灵性身份感到恐惧。People think that oh, if I have to be a person in the spiritual world, there must also be suffering. There must also be miseries there. 他们认为，倘若我在灵性世界还是一个人的话。那么那里一定还是有，呃，很痛苦的事情。People are, the, the, because they ex, we experience so much suffering in this life, so we think that if I have to also be a person even after liberation, it must be very bad, must be dang horrible, must be trouble. 他们认为，如果我我在这个世界上受的苦已经太多了，如果在灵性世界我还是有。嗯，还是一个人有人格的话，那么一定还是有同样的烦恼。So in this way, have a fear of spiritual identity. 他们就这样对灵性的身份心怀恐惧
and sometimes we have a fear that there'll, there'll be no pleasure there, there'll be no happiness, no enjoyment. We have, we have a fear that we're not going to be able to satisfy our desires. And then ignorance, ignorance of our, again, ignorance of our, our spiritual nature. And it can be due to impersonal ideas that we can think of ourselves as being one that, that we can think that the goal of life is to merge into the oneness. So this, there are different kinds of ignorances which cover people. Some people have the, just simply ignorance that they're just simply addicted to sense gratification. That they would smoke cigarettes, drink alcohol, and they think there's nothing wrong. They think it's okay to do these things. They're so ignorant. And they, they will eat the flesh of animals, sacred animals like the cow. They think the cows are just there to be eaten. They have no, no knowledge about the eggs, what goes on when these animals are killed. So there's so much ignorance in the world. People in the mode of ignorance, in the mode of ignorance, they're simply living in darkness. And when they die, then they enter into darkest regions of ignorance. In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna describes, if you die in the mode of ignorance, next birth you will take birth in the mode of ignorance. So birth in the mode of ignorance means you become a tree or you become an animal like a dog. You have to live in some lower species of life, like a plant or animal. So that is uh, what happens in, if you die in the mode of ignorance. So Krishna consciousness is to bring people out of ignorance, to bring them to goodness. Without Krishna consciousness, then people are miserable. They're, they become dull. They have no life. But Srila Prabhupada saw that in the beginning, people, young people who were coming to him, they were, they, were not, they were not clean, they had no good habits. But after they came to Krishna consciousness, they, they completely changed. They became bright-faced. And with the with their tea like tea like on their foreheads and tosi mala around their neck, they look like they came from they just come from Vaikuntha. But before 
coming to Krishna consciousness, they were just coming out of the mode of ignorance. Never bathed regularly, never changed the cloth regularly. Never never took care of any kinds of uh, didn't take care to keep clean even in their in the internally or externally. And they would eat everything. They did not have any discrimination, and they did not make any they did not think about what they were eating, they did not think about what they were doing. And this way they were in the, a lot of ignorance. But Krishna consciousness brings us out of ignorance. It takes us away from all of these, from the ignorance of material life. But we have to follow the process by hearing and chanting regularly. Just like here the, the, uh, Lord Krishna is giving the example, you go near the fire, you'll feel the heat and the light and everything, the benefit of the fire. But if you go away from the fire, then you'll feel the different, you'll feel the cold. You won't feel the benefit of the fire. Hmm. So the same way with Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness is compared to the fire. You go away, the further you go away from Krishna consciousness, the more you become influenced by the material energy. And you go away from the fire, you feel the cold, you feel, you feel the darkness, you feel fear. And if we go near the fire, then you feel the heat, you can, and there's no more fear. And so the same is true with Krishna consciousness. You, you stay close, you stay active in Krishna consciousness and you feel the energy of Krishna. Just like when we're chanting Hare Krishna, we can feel the spiritual energy awakening. Every day this kirtan is going on in this place, so there's a lot of spiritual energy here. There's, there's no sinful activities taking place here. So there's spiritual energy there, here. And the food, when we eat food, we can feel also the difference, how the prasadam is different from any other kind of food. We can see you go around here in Kowloon, there's so many restaurants, there's so many pizza and so many different sandwiches and different things are selling food all around here. Right, you go to the Ma Dong Lao and Gun Dogi. Gun Dogi. Gun Dogi. 
and the jiro, right? They eat the jiro. So, you know, these kind, if you go there, then you can feel the, the atmosphere. You can feel there's no spiritual energy there at all. There's no purity, there's no real knowledge. But if you stay in the association with the devotees, then you can feel the spiritual energy. And we eat the food which is prepared and offered to Krishna, we feel greatly benefited. And we feel that this is actually the this this is the real food for the soul. So there's such a difference. In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna describes this also. He said, What is the time of awakening for all beings? Is night for the introspective sage. And what is night for for all beings? That, that is the time of awakening for the sage. So for devotees, you know, we wake up early. We're waking up. And we we go out sometimes in the morning for a walk, and we see some people they're still sitting in the bar drinking beer. So when they didn't go home yet. They'll go home and and sleep all day. And then they wake up in the night. Just like the owl, the, there was one bird that, which is always awake in the night. It sleeps in the daytime. It's always awake at night. So, if, they, if you say to these people, we, we tell people, oh, there, there's so many nice activity taking place in the temple. Come to the temple and chant and dance. And what are, they will say, no, no, I have to go to the disco, I have to go to the club, I have to go where there's drink, where there's cigarettes. So their enjoyment is in all these sinful activities. And they're thinking this is happiness. They do not understand what is the actual nature of happiness. And if we were to bring them here in the morning to the arti, they would not appreciate. They would say, give me cigarettes, give me alcohol. So the conditioned souls. Their happiness is in all these sinful activities. Just like one time the, uh, Indra, the king of heaven, committed some offense against his guru. So his guru punished Indra to teach him a lesson. He said, you become a pig, put you into the body of a pig. And so Indra had to become a pig, he was in the body of a pig, and he was you know, living with, he had a big, he had many wives, pig wives, 
and they had many children, pigs, they produce a lot of piglets when they give birth. And they got very fat. The farmer was coming with the pig food, the slop, and all the everything, and entering the body of the pig, he was eating all this stuff. So after some time, then the guru came, Brihaspati came and said, All right, he said, you, You've been a pig long enough now, I'm going to take you back to heaven. But Indra said, No, no, I like it here. I'm having a good time here. I like it here. Every day the farmer brings me nice food. I get the pig food every day. And I've got my family here. So many children. Ah, cannot go with you. So then Brihaspati understood, okay. So he went to get the butcher. So the butcher came with a big knife. They told the butcher, there's a big fat pig just ready for you. <laughs> So the butcher came with the big knife and they saw Indra, big fat pig, said, yes, let's get this one, let's chop him up. So Indra went, oh no, Jiaoming and Jiaoming. So save me, Indra is saying, save me, but yeah. And if the, this is the problem that people are in these hellish conditions, but they're actually thinking, no, it's, it's okay, it's very nice. Sometimes when we will go for when we go for book distribution, we'll go everywhere, we'll go to shops and offices, go many everywhere try to distribute books. And sometimes you see the places where people have to work all day and you think, oh, how can they manage to stay there all day in this place? It's so horrible. They have to work, they have to live sometimes in the most horrible conditions. But people are spending the whole day now. just they're thinking this is a, this is my life is a life. And so the same way the demigods they look at people on our planet and they also wonder how we could tolerate to live in the conditions we live. Mm, we're all we're all dying here. On the other planets, the demigods, they have a very, very long life. But our, our life is short, we just have a short lifespan. And we, we have to suffer so many different diseases.
But the demigods, they don't have any of these problems. So we have to suffer. We suffer, well, we're in the middle of the universe and there's more suffering if you go deeper in the universe. If you go below our universe, there, there's no sunlight. It's just darkness everywhere. And there's light, but the light is coming from jewels. But they don't get any sunlight. And so there's so many different kinds of hells, different hellish conditions. It's all to be experienced by all the conditioned souls. They go through all of these different conditions. And often the so, conditioned soul never realizes that he's meant for, he's meant for eternal life. He's meant to get out of this hell which he's living in. But instead, we just try to be comfortable here. Just like if you get put into jail. You want to figure, you want to get out of the jail. You don't want to be just be comfortable in the jail. So similarly, we're here in this world, and so many people they spend all their time, their all their energy, just try to be comfortable here. 同样呢，我们现在在这个物质世界，而许多的人呢，试图在物质世界呢，舒舒服服的活着。What we need to do, we need to work to get out of this place. 我们需要做的是怎么来出去，离开物质世界。Right, we have we have that one book called Coming Back, and the last chapter in the book is called Don't Come Back. 就在这再回来这本书的最后一章。if we come back into this world, it means we failed. Just like if you do some studies and then you have a test at the end, if you fail the test, you have to do it all again. So that's a great waste of your time and energy that you have to do everything again. So we don't want to come back again in this material world. We want to make sure that we'll get success with this life, in this life, make this life, give this life for Krishna. And that then we can go back to be with Krishna, to enter into the eternal Leela. Maybe we, we we don't all have to be gopis, but we can be some kind of associate to Krishna. We can be a servant, or we can be one of a friend of Krishna. We can serve Krishna in some way or other. And in this way, we. We can have eternal life without birth and death, without the miseries of material existence. But we have to stay close to Krishna. Just, just like this, that verse in Srimad Bhagavatam, 
which describe Lord Brahma is speaking, and he's describing about devotional service. Tate nukampam susamikshamana bunjana evatma kritam vipakam rigvagva pavir vidadan namaste jiveta yomukti pade sadaya bak. So the, sig the significant phrase is this, pade sadaya bak. Daya bak means it becomes your rightful claim to go back to Godhead. Right? At the end of life, it should be our claim. No, I'm a devotee. I've surrendered to Krishna. I've done all service to Krishna. So the Acharyas give the example. They say, what does the boy have to do to inherit the property of the father. Right? The father has a big estate. He has a nice house. He has money in the bank. What do you have to do to inherit the property? All you have to do, you have to stay alive. <laughs> right? If you stay wait for the father to die, when the father dies, then you get the money. The same way, what do you have to do to go back to Godhead? You have to stay alive in Krishna consciousness. Don't give up hearing and chanting. Just keep going. And, and it will become your rightful claim to go back to God. Okay. Hare Krishna. Any question? Any question? Nobody? Yes, Maharaj. Yes? Can I ask a question outside of this Sura Bhagavatam's topic? <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, we have a um, reading group and we read Sura Bhagavatam four or five days a week. And then um, when we read about the worshipper who worship the very gods, we have a question in mind. Um, to the people who ask benefits from the demigods, so the demigods grant them the, the home or the benefit, is it that they worth it? Is it in their karma, good karma, that they worth that benefit? Or they don't worth it, but the demigods will also give them... If they don't worship the demigods? So they worship the demigods and they ask for some benefits from, from the demigods. Yeah. So when the demigods give them the boom, give them the, the uh, request, so is it that the person actually have that merit in their life that they deserve, that they deserve the boom? Or actually the demigods will also give them even they don't deserve? Well, the qualification well, they did the worship. That's a qualification. 
他们资格就是他们的崇拜，他们崇拜了。Mm, they may get it, they may not. Because the demigods are not ultimately supreme. The demigods have to get sanction from the supreme lord. So people were worshiping demigods. Said that in itself, that is a pious activity. 人们崇拜半神，这本身也是虔诚活动。The Vedic path. 这是一条伟大的途径。But the will they get? Will it, does everybody succeed? And does everyone get what they want by worshiping demigods? No. 嗯，是不是所有的人崇拜半神都得到了他们想要的呢 ？No. Why not? Well. Maybe they didn't worship the demigods properly. Maybe the maybe Lord Krishna didn't sanction. Because the demigods are not supreme. Because the demigods are not supreme. Because the demigods are not supreme. Because the supreme. Lord. Before they can give. 半神人在给给予祝福之前呢，必须得到主批准。So, I wouldn't. You can't say you're sure to get. Nobody's sure. You know. So why not? Well, one reason is the demigods are not supreme. 你不能就呃打保票说一定能，呃崇拜的就就能够得到信息呃如愿以偿，为什么呢？一个原因就是半人半人并不是至高无上的。嗯、mm -hmm.。Worshiping demigods is done by less intelligent people. 只有智慧欠缺的人才崇拜半神。To get results which are limited and temporary. They get results which are limited and temporary. So we don't encourage that. 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 They're recognizing that there's some higher authority. But at least they're worshiping the demigods. They're humble people because they're going the right way, the right way, the right way. They admit that they have higher authority. So that that is good. The fact that they recognize that there's some higher authority. So they they admit that there's some higher authority. So they they admit that there's some higher authority. And gradually, they can be brought to worship the supreme. 逐渐的呢，他们就可以嗯，去崇拜至尊。We were telling last night about Satrajit. He was a devotee of the sun god. So he he was worshiping the sun god, and the sun god gave him a jewel, the Shamantaka jewel. 昨天晚上我们讲的那个 Satchit 吧，他崇拜半神，半神人，呃，那太阳神，崇拜太阳神，太阳神就给了他一一颗宝石。嗯。So he was a very special person that he could get. Such a jewel from the sun god, but ultimately that jewel was the cause of his death. Pe people murdered him to get the jewel. He can from the sun god get this jewel. It means he is not an ordinary person. But the result is that he got the jewel. He died. So that's the kind of problems which come. So that's the kind of problems which come from worshiping demigods. 
所所以这就是崇拜半神会带来的这这类问题。You get material things, you get material blessings, which bring you more trouble. 嗯，得到了物质的，嗯，物质的好处，结果会带来更多的麻烦了。嗯。前两天我和跟妈咪还在讨论回归灵性世界的这件事情，然后就说纯粹的奉献者做呃做爱服务，他不会想到呃是在灵性世界还是在物质世界，他只是做做爱服务。我觉得我的我们的愿望可能更想回归灵性世界。如果我们的灵性老师希望我们回去的话，所以是不是培养回归灵性世界的愿望这个目标是更重要的？对我们来说。因为在这个物质世界做换爱服，并不是一件容易的事，会有很多的打扰，很容易就会被带走了。不、well, ，sometimes Prabhupada would encourage us to go back to Godhead, and sometimes he would encourage us just to do devotional service. 圣帕帕德有的时候鼓励我们回归神守神，有时候鼓励我们做奉爱服务。One girl was. Leaving one woman out, she was leaving the body. She had some disease, and she was. But she said to Prabhupada, she said, "I'm just praying that in my next life I can come and distribute books." 嗯，有一个女奉献者，她她因为生病要离开躯体了。她对帕帕德说，我我希望呢，我来世呢还能再回来派书。But Prabhupada said to her, "Said no, it's okay. You don't have to come to do that. Just go back to Godhead." 圣爸爸的说，圣爸爸说，你已经做的，已经做做的没没问题了，你就回归神手吧。嗯。So, however, Lord Chaitanya is teaching us not to even ask for liberation, just want devotional service, birth after birth. 嗯，然而主彩丹尼亚，他就示范，嗯嗯。Of course, if you have devotional service, that is back to Godhead. If you have pure devotion, that is back to Godhead. 当然，如果你已经在做的是纯粹奉献服务的话，那本身那就已经回到神手那里了。Wherever you are. 嗯，不论你身处在哪个地方。啊！哎，今天这个世界说，通过服务，通过奉献服务，服务奉献者和服务主的莲花族，所有的愚昧、焦虑、恐惧都会消失殆尽。但是我们现实当中呢，越服务多，可能出的问题就越多，那些好像焦虑还是不断。问题总是在打扰，所以我们到底应该怎么样去做才是正、正、正确的？ Well, in today's verse, it said that, um, the more service we do, the, uh, that the dullness, fear, and ignorance will be destroyed, but. I feel that the more service I do, uh, there will be more problem, and there will be worry. Uh, so may I ask, what's the proper um uh, action? Well, proper action is to do service for Krishna, and pray to Krishna. To give you the intelligence to do it nicely. We should do the right thing, which is to pray to Krishna, and ask him to give us wisdom, to give us the right thing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
。当然，我们越是为 Krishna 做服务，我们就会意识到自己的缺点，我我们的不足。回答您的问题了吗？谢谢。嗯。Jennifer was asking, like, when is approaching fire and the coldness, fear and darkness will disappear? Hmm. But he is saying, uh, when he is doing, like, uh, when one is doing the service, but still feel the. Worrying. Ah, 越做服务越感到问题和问题越多。The more service, there will be more problems. More service, there will be more problems. The more service. And in the protocol, it says, once uh, a person serves the lotus feet of Lord, uh, all this ignorance, fear, and uh, will disappear. But in in the day, in our practical service life, we feel that the more service we, we, we the more we serve devotees, the the more problems they. Will. <laughs> well, we have to try to serve the devotees nicely, not create problems, but we have to overcome the problems. There will always be problems, but we have to go through the problems. The biggest problem is to remember Krishna and to be de make the effort to please Krishna. If you forget Krishna, that's the problem. When we serve devotees, we uh, we are always told to give mercy to devotees, but uh, we ourselves we also want to get mercy. How to balance? Well, the more you give mercy, the more you become qualified to get mercy. Mm. If you give the mercy to more people, then you will get more mercy. So that's how you balance it. Be concerned to give. We don't want to receive. We want to give. We take give mercy to others, and we'll get a lot of mercy. Okay, Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai.
Go back to Brenda Key. Yeah. Yeah.